Here's what else is happening today. Senator Bob Menendez, his wife and two co-defendants are due in lower Manhattan for a court appearance. It comes after they were hit with additional charges last week for obstruction, all connected to that federal bribery case against the embattled senator. Eyewitness News reporter Lindsay Tuckman live outside a federal court in lower Manhattan for us. Lindsay. Hey, Charlene and Mike. Senator Bob Menendez is expected to arrive here in Lower Manhattan any minute now. In fact, it could happen while I'm talking, so I'll keep an eye on it uh, while I'm speaking. But he is expected to be here as well as his wife, Nadine Menendez, and their two alleged co-conspirators. And they all are expected to be arraigned within the next hour or so on these 12 additional charges due to a superseding indictment. It all stems from, Mike, as you mentioned, this years-long bribery scheme involving the government of Egypt and Qatar. Federal process Prosecutors alleging the New Jersey senator and his wife received hundreds of thousands of dollars in bribe, bribes, and not just in cash, but also gold bars and a car. And now officials allege Menendez obstructed that investigation by getting his attorney to falsely say that those bribes were actually loans. Now, the new counts include further charges of conspiracy on top of the ones that were already there, as well as obstruction of justice, bribery, and extortion. Now, amidst all of this, Menendez has continually rejected calls by fellow Democrats to resign and has a few weeks left to decide whether or not he will even seek re-election. It is speculated widely that he will not be seeking re-election, but he has not decisively said one way or another. Now, Menendez and his wife, as well as the two other defendants, have pled not guilty. One other New Jersey businessman that was involved in this alleged scheme has pled guilty, however, and has, uh, has said he will uh, collaborate with this investigation, so that doesn't necessarily bode well for the embattled senator. They do have have the opportunity technically today to enter new pleas, so we will see if that happens at the arraignment again in the next hour or so. The trial is set for May. For